Hello everyone. Um, today we are on the week beginning at the end of the week beginning on March the 25th. So you have your individual assignment for this week that's related to the uh, video lecture increasing SAT scores in a US state. By the way that data I don't know if I mentioned that elsewhere, but that data is uh, from the state of Florida. It's uh, actual data. Some In some of the uh, data sets that I'm providing uh, to you, the data was created through a Monte Carlo simulation process. So in other words, I created the data. In other cases, the data was compiled and uh, in I think one or two cases the data was mixed so it was real data that was slightly modified uh, so that I could use it uh, in the course um, not not the original data next week we have uh, this assignment improving satisfaction with car park delivery and I think this is a very good example of how uh, you can use uh, model driven data analytics in organizations in a rather simple way but non-trivial so this example here is more complex than this one Uh, let's see what has been submitted already so we have a submission by Mark we have a submission by uh, Kayla I was pronouncing the name as Kayla but I think it's Kayla Kayla please if you're if you're watching this video please uh, uh, correct me if you want uh, in uh, the module one uh, thread general information uh, if you don't want to correct me that's fine too I assume it's Kayla the correct pronunciation and I was and I was mispronouncing as Kayla Stacy uh, Stacy was able to actually embed the the figure here in the post very nice nice uh, nice uh, commentary in the attachment so we had three people who submitted already and we have several pending and today is Thursday so uh, the assignment is due uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. so the tricky part about this is that if if you wait until the last minute and uh, there was a problem with the system you're not you may have problems submitting your assignment so if I were you I would always submit or try to submit one day in advance just in case there is any problem now under module one I included two threats um, critical thinking what you disagree what do you disagree with in learning assessment what have you learned so far so this one critical thinking what you disagree with is to give you the opportunity to to tell me uh, if you've seen anything if you've seen anything on any of the modules uh, that you disagree with and it doesn't have to be a major disagreement it could be a minor disagreement uh, just state it here and I will address in one of these videos uh, your your point of disagreement um, it's important that you are a critical thinker um, if you agree with everything that is uh, covered in those uh, various videos uh, and in the modules um, you must be doing something wrong because there is always something to disagree with and uh, I welcome 
that um, critical thinking and I'd be happy to address that. Even if it is a, a, a theoretical disagreement or a disagreement about um, uh, one of the things that, one of the conclusions that uh, I discuss uh, in one of the modules, videos, and I'd be happy to uh, address it here. So critical thinking is always important. You're not uh, learning everything that you can possibly learn in this class, even about model-driven data analytics. There are more things uh, that uh, would require probably a couple of years of uh, courses on this topic alone. So I think you should have something that you don't disagree, don't agree with entirely uh, they are being covered and I'd be happy to address them when I see them entered here the others the I, I'm interested in learning if you're learning right so I'm interesting that you have good learning experience in this course so you would be interesting if you could tell me what you have learned so far uh, regularly throughout this course. Uh, so what have you learned so far you know after maybe module 3 or, or module 2 uh, whatever. None of these are required by the way. I already told you what you need to do to get an A in this course and it's actually completing the assignments. Uh, so uh, you don't have to enter anything under these threads but if you want to uh, I'd be happy to comment on what you said and uh, I'd be happy to uh, I would like to know particularly if you're learning as a result of this course I assume that uh, there are students who are familiar with model driven data analytics uh, and are very familiar with data analytics in general so I assume that those students are not learning as much and I, I also assume that some students are not familiar at all so they when they uh, you know see me talking about um, collinearity variance inflation factors and so on they feel probably information overloaded and that's to be expected this is not a simple topic it's a complicated topic uh, but it's because it's complex that it adds value to organizations. Um, so please, if you can, enter uh, some entries here under these uh, uh, two threads. And, but you don't have to, to get an A in the course, as I said before. And in fact, in some cases, you may make comments that will help me change the course for the future uh, but not this time not f uh, currently because I don't want to change anything that we already have an agreement on so I don't want to change the rules of the game while the game is being played okay so I guess I covered everything I wanted to cover today So thank you for watching and uh, I hope you have a good weekend.